The average student is only getting seven hours of sleep, which is 22% less than what professionals suggest. With an adequate amount of sleep of eight to nine hours, teenagers are more alert and attentive, as well as have higher quality of work and performance during the day. With enough sleep, teens have better attention, focus, alertness, and improve their chances of success. Get eight to nine hours of sleep. You'll notice the difference. Nearly one out of every three children and adolescents are either overweight or obese. The Physical Activity Guidelines recommends that children and adolescents should get 60 or more minutes of moderate to vigorous activity daily. Sports are a great way to ensure that you are getting 60 minutes of physical activity a day. Sports are a great way to stay healthy and have fun. So get out there and get active. A lot of people don't realize how dangerous distracted walking can be. If a person is walking across a busy street and they aren't fully attentive of their surroundings, they have a much higher chance of getting hit by a car. A study from Ohio State University found the number of pedestrian emergency room visits for injuries related to cell phones tripled from 2004 to 2010. Distracted walking can also lead to other embarrassing outcomes. So let's put our phones down and become safer pedestrians. Facial expressions are a universal language. Whether it's a frown or a wild smile, they all show emotion. Endorphins are the body's natural painkillers, releasing from your brain into the bloodstream, providing instant relief when you smile. Smiling is kind and friendly, bringing light into the room, emitting positive energy, and making someone's day. The best thing about smiling is that you can practice. All you need to do is find a mirror and figure out which smile is most comfortable for you. Once you become comfortable smiling, have your smile readily available. And then comes the easiest part, smile. This is what you picture when you think of pets, loved and social, but that's not the fate of all pets and animals. According to the Humane Society of the United States, about 7.6 million domestic animals enter shelters each year, and about 2.7 million are euthanized. But it's not just domestic animals that are abused. The Humane Society states that tens of millions of wild animals are killed illegally each year. So what can you do to help stop the abuse? If you're getting a pet, try to adopt from a shelter. Go to different websites such as the Humane Society, ASPCA, and World Wildlife Fund to educate yourself and see if you can support these organizations.